we begin our journey right here in Barcelona, where the Philadelphia 76ers are getting ready for a brand new NBA season. It's always in my heart to win basketball games in the NBA. I think that's a tough conference. Got some uh, great basketball team with great individual players, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough. I think the competition is going to be good for them. Every year the goals win a championship. Uh, you have to start with small goals, make it to the playoffs, have a winning record, and then win a championship. That's the way it should be every year, and uh, that's our goal. That's it. We're trying to better ourselves, get ourselves in a position to play, to win a championship, not just to go out there and play. Oh. Bingo. Break him down, Jimmy. Break him down, Jimmy. <laughs> We know that we have enough talent where we can make noise and, and we can be as good as really we want to be. We can be great. You know, we have all the tools. You know, we got two great um, players in uh, Chris Weber and Allen Iverson, and we got up and coming players like myself and Andre Godala, Sam Dallenbert, Kyle Corver. So I think we have all the tools. We just need to put it together for an 82 game season. We understand where we were defensively. And we understand where we are offensively. In order for us to be a better team, we have to play better teams. We don't stop right here playing defense, right? We play defense this year. We're playing defense 94 feet. We're going to be a tremendous team. As soon as you get to know each other, communication gets better. And, uh, you know, the sky is the limit. Concentrate. You got to concentrate. Come on, get down run. Come on. Well, you know, I'm new here, uh, but all I keep hearing is uh, defense, rebounding. Guard your guys. You got to rebound the ball. Do it again. And uh, just togetherness. Oh, hold on, hold on. We cannot have turnovers when we're playing by ourselves. Come on, the defense is not even out there. We're throwing the ball away. Come on, we're going to be a good team. Not Come on, let's go. Today was great. Had fun. It's hot outside. We're gonna have more fun tomorrow. <laughs> Rookie stuff. What sort of got going on? Paying bags. God, I'm working hard, isn't it? We don't have to wait till training camp to see what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna start, if I'm gonna play or not. You know, that's yet to be determined. Cut! Cut, Rodney, cut! Cut! We gotta work. Gonna work. I work every team that we play. I work. It starts here. All right, come on, John. I don't think we're really setting any type of limit or any type of uh, ceiling on, on what we can do. We can be as good as we want. You know, um, the most important thing is uh, getting into the playoffs. Getting to the playoffs, anything can happen. Like we all love this game. I love this game. You gotta love this game to play. You gotta want to get better at it. That's the whole option. Want to get better. Oh, we all we got. Off the court, the Sixers will no doubt find their way here to one of Europe's great people watching streets that runs through Barcelona's old city. It's a mile long ramble called, appropriately enough, Los Ramblas. But surprisingly, the word Rambla has nothing to do with rambling, it's Arabic for stream. You see, back in medieval times, in this once Roman town, Las Ramblas was nothing more than a drainage ditch. These days, Los Ramblas is a tourist mecca, a must-see destination where you can find anything from 25 different kinds of olives to Cuban cigars, and they're perfectly legal here. There are even human statues, and if you toss a few coins their way, these street performers might even come to life. Of course, you can also do nothing at all. Just park yourself at a sidewalk cafe and watch the parade amble by. And if you like what you see, the fountain of Canaletas awaits, where legend says that a drink from the fountain ensures that you'll return to Barcelona. The people of Barcelona have a lot to be proud of. Great food, music, and sights to go along with their love of basketball. Fans are still celebrating Spain's gold medal performance at the FIBA World Championship led by Barcelona's own Pau Gasol of the Memphis Grizzlies. All right, we need to take a quick time out. When we come back, we'll have more NBA TV, Real Training Camp Europe, right after this.
Hey, y'all, why have a sound? Looking over your shoulder, all the way back. Once we get the half court, we can point. You got the ball, you got the ball. So now we're telling somebody to pick up the basketball. You got to always guard the basketball. Okay, ready? Go. Oh, 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 oh. Rick, you got it, you got it, you got it. When you're fronting down low, well, all teams are going to have some kind of high level scheme. Your player, half takes away. Okay. There ain't no real game, man. What? I ain't never seen you score in no real game. Go get taught. Help middle! Break it up! Money in the bank. Shorty, what you drink? I got money in the bank. Shorty, what you drink? Money in the bank. Shorty, what you drink? I got money in the bank. Break it up. Shab, you gotta wait to uh, Lou get it. Cause you, you run the flare like. <laughs> ball, ball. You can leave the league rebound. How many is that? About 14. 14 rebound. 14, you can lead the lead. There you go. There you go. Bing. Welcome back to Barcelona, one of several host cities for the NBA Europe Live Tour. And the Philadelphia 76ers have taken up residence here in Barcelona. Very happy to be joined by uh, one of their young stars, Andre Iguodala. And first of all, Thanks for coming on here with us. Thanks for having me. Well, so what's it like for you guys to, since you're an old, uh, in your third season now, uh -huh. a big time veteran, what's it like for you to be conducting training camp across the drink? Well, it's a different environment, you know, different culture. So we're adjusting a little bit. You know, we had a long flight. But I think guys have done well so far. We um, came in, we had a good two practices so far. Um, we had one this morning, we had another one later on. So, so far we've, um, you know, executed what we wanted to in practice and guys have got a good feel for Coach Cheeks. So as uh, compared to last training camp and I know that you're getting ready for the season obviously uh -huh. but tell me some of the chatter and some of the, the the dialogue going on between the players as far as being over here. Well I mean it's different so guys you know it's not like um, guys are complaining because we have you know the best conditions in the U.S. so mm -hmm. um, you really have to take into account that that you know we're really uh, spoiled over there but um, coming over here, I, I think, guys, it's good for us to get away from home and just focus on what we need to focus on to become a good team this year. Iguodala with one giant burst! <laughs> Whoa! How he threw it in reverse! Now, uh, entering your third season, you've started 164 consecutive games. No 76 has done that since Claire's Weatherspoon back in 92-94. So, uh, think, what's with you, Iron Man? Well, I think it's just uh, great conditioning in all season. Working out with my trainers in, in um, the summertime, um, getting in the gym early every single day, and the, uh, weightlifting and weight training, keeping my strength throughout the season, being able to take the, the bumps and the bruises, and, and uh, having a fast recovery, and, and you know, just um, really thanking God that I haven't had a serious injury yet. And because this is your your third season now, you no more of that rookie stuff where you <laughs> like carrying the stuff around. I know that didn't happen last season for you, but how enjoyable is it for you now to have uh, uh, some 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 rooks? to uh, do things that way. Well, I was the only rook, so they took a light on me. <laughs> but now we have about four guys, and, you know, we're putting them to work. So it's a lot of fun just, uh, you know, really showing them the ropes of the NBA and just um, really getting a chance to interact with them and, you know, um, just giving them some uh, positive input and things I learned from guys like Aaron McKee and um, Glenn Robinson when I first got here in the league and to help them make that easy transition. Iverson emerging. He's got company among them. For two. So, is there enough work for four rookies now that we're here in Europe to, you know, to take care of tasks? <laughs> oh, it's plenty of work. I mean, we're in a hotel. Um, there's some things that we don't know about as far as where to go to get certain things. So we just, you know, uh, put the duties on them. So uh, that, even though they don't know the lay of the land here in <laughs> Barcelona, and, and it's a great experience and great to see everything, so they may have to go find chicken or. 
towels or whatever it is. Like Coach said, just make it work. <laughs> In a big way. Hey, uh, uh, final question for you before we let you go, though. As, as I think about you dominating that T-Mobile Rookie Challenge doing All-Star Weekend uh -huh. last time, are you going to you gonna miss that? You know, as a sophomore, you really put your, your stamp on that last season. Well, I think this year I'm just focusing on just helping the team get better and, you know, further making my role bigger with this team in every aspect of the game, you know, um, mainly on offensive end, just getting to uh, handle the ball a little bit more, making a lot of decisions in the open court, and, and just being the same type of uh, impact player on the defensive end. All right. We appreciate you coming spending some time with us. I know it's a, a wonderful trip and experience for you guys. Look forward to 82 games during the regular season starting in health for you. Best of luck to you this season. Andre Iguodala.